Welcome back. We don't often hear a lot about it, but adult bullying in the workplace is a lot more common than we might think, and it can happen on any rung of the corporate ladder. Gail Nelson with Journey Counseling is here to help us identify different types of bullies in the workplace, how to stop them. Good morning. Good morning. This is more common, like we mentioned, more common than we think, right? Well, I think it's a fine line. I don't know if you've ever felt kind of threatened by a relationship with you had with somebody, maybe a coworker, maybe a parent, maybe a in-law, maybe somebody else you know. There's you you maybe experience that sense you get that threat, that feeling when somebody's crossed a line and that behavior is overly aggressive. It, it, it happens, I think, yeah, like that. People get really pushy on something, and then you end up feeling bullied by that. So what do you mean exactly, like, when they cross the line, like, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, how they're talking to you, if they're mm -hmm. yelling, aggressive actions? Well, I think it's a sense people have. And here's what I've noticed, too, is that people have maybe have a different threshold of what that feels like. Because sometimes, especially in the employee assistance program benefit that I do, sometimes an employee will feel like a supervisor who's just giving them performance information. You need to improve this. You need to fix this. You need to get here on time is being a bully. Oh, okay. When really, that's really probably an appropriate place for more assertive accurate communication but I think a lot of times people have a different set point on how that feels to them so it feels like a threat which truly when your job is in threat it can be but that, that's maybe that other end of the spectrum down there the, the way far end of the spectrum is when somebody's really up in your face up in your grill you know that that sense like back off wait a minute so there's that sense that people are crossing a boundary is there any way to sort of objectify because what I'm hearing from you is it's pretty subjective well, I think if, if we were watching a scenario, we'd probably be able to pick out what that behavior, when that person crossed the line. People can be discussing and talking, but when somebody kind of goes over that line, I think, we'd, I think we probably would have a pretty fair, um, reasonable person standard about, nah, that... That was too much, yeah. yeah. So does that include, like, swearing at people, mm -hmm. loud voices? When we teach violence in the workplace, swearing is a form of violence, and sometimes people, maybe in their own environment, are so accustomed to swearing, they don't even hear it anymore. <clears throat> but it is one of the things on the list that shows up as workplace violence. And you know how that feels. If you're at work and you're thinking people should be professional with you, and especially if it's a boss or a leader and somebody's swearing at you, how that feels, it feels like threat. Mm -hmm. I think it became a lot more pervasive, too, when you saw what happened with the dolphins with those... I mean, it just got so... Did you see this story? Oh, which one? Remember they, they were texting each other and the guy was using derogatory terms oh, for him. Right. And it just... Football players. Right. Yeah, and you think, okay, here's two grown 300-pound men. Mm -hmm. They don't get bullied, but again, yeah. it's a lot more pervasive. Maybe than... I think it was good because it shed some light on, hey, these, this mm -hmm. stuff is happening. People need to be more aware of it, yeah? And maybe we've started to look at things that feel like hazing and maybe that's acceptable. But I think we're pulling some of that back into regions that are, are more about civility and professional and still getting your message across but doing it in an appropriate professional way especially at work okay so when we come back we'll find out more about mm -hmm. how to do that in an appropriate way mm -hmm. and um and what steps you can take the, the route you should go when you're when you're trying to stop a bully in the mm -hmm. workplace all right much more with gail nelson when we come back